This next technique that we're going to be looking at is unison bends. Now, this is a very cool technique, especially if you like sort of slightly heavier, more intense blues rock music. The style of Cream, Jimi Hendrix, you know, more of that kind of blues rock scene, that British blues rock scene, Led Zeppelin, that type of a thing. Now, what a unison bend is, as the name might suggest, is you are sort of playing two notes together. And specifically what you're doing is you're taking a note, you're taking another note at a lower pitch, and you're bending that second note up to the same note as, uh, to the same pitch rather, as the other note that you're playing. Sounds a little complicated, but let me show you what this looks like on the guitar. So here we're gonna return to our position one in the A minor pentatonic uh, scale. You're gonna take your first finger and put it on the fifth fret of the B string, this note here. And then you're gonna put your third finger on the seventh fret on the G string. And you're gonna back that third finger up with your middle finger on the sixth fret. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna play both strings together, which creates that sound and you're going to bend up the G string. And the reason you're going to do that is because that note there, the ninth fret on the G string, which is what you're going to bend to, is the same pitch as the fifth fret on the B string. So this creates this very cool and tense sound because you play the two notes together and you bend the note on the G string up to hit that, the, the note which is on the B string. So at the end of the bend, both notes are gonna be the same and you'll have that kind of resolved sound. But on the way up to there, it's gonna sound very tense because you're gonna have this clash between the note that you're bending and the note that is stable. Okay, so let me show you what that sounds like. I'm going to play it real nice and slow so you can kind of hear that tension leading up to the point of resolution. So you have this kind of cool, quite tense sound. Now, in actuality or in, in practice, you probably wouldn't play it that slow because it feels a little bit too tense and a little bit too spicy but it's a very cool way of creating a sort of quite aggressive, heavier sound in your playing. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Especially if, you know, you are in that kind of British blues rock realm, you're probably gonna be adding some gain into your sound. So you might have a more saturated sound or more, more distorted, overdriven sound. And that's going to make that technique sound a lot better and a lot more kind of hitting you around the face. The cool thing that you can do here as well is you can take that same idea but break it up. So this, is an exa this isn't exactly a unison bend, but it's taking the same idea um, and just putting a bit of a twist on it. So instead of playing the two strings simultaneously, you play the bend and then you, you alternate between the bent note and the, the sort of stable note, okay? So in this case, you're alternating between the seventh fret on the G string, which is being bent, and the stable note, the fifth fret on the B string, which isn't being bent, like this. Again, with a totally clean tone like I'm using now, it doesn't sound quite so convincing, but you can imagine uh, if you put an overdrive pedal on that, it really thickens it up and it sounds a very, very cool technique. The crucial thing here is to make sure that the note on the highest string remains stable. If you start to try and bend that as well, then you're gonna get a very weird sort of tense uh, thing going on, um, which is not gonna sound great. It's all about the note on the lower string being bent up to that note that's being held stable. Now, in terms of actually executing this over the fretboard, there's a variety of different places that you can do uh, that you can do this. 
in all of the different pentatonic shapes. My key recommendation would be to choose a note on the lower string that you are only bending two frets. So this would work well here, as would here, as would here. And there'll be a variety of different places and you'll be able to see from the fretboard diagrams below exactly where you should be targeting. But in each of those instances, if I take the second one for example, I was bending the eighth fret on the B string to hit that note there. So I was just bending up a single tone on the B string. Same uh, in, the, in, the, in the latter example and same in my initial example on the G string. I was just bending up a tone or two frets. You can experiment with that should you, should you so wish and go, you know, pick unison bends where you're going a tone and a half or two bends on the, on the lower string. But again, that's going to sound a little bit more tense, a little bit more unsettled. Everything has its place if you experiment and test these ideas out. But the fundamental idea that we're talking about here is just nice and simple. Playing two strings at the same time, bending the second one up a tone to hit the note on the higher string. Give that one a go, guys. Test it out all over the fretboard. Test it out with some kind of rockier context, maybe with a bit of drive, you know, on your amp or, or with a pedal. And it's just going to be a very, very cool thing that you can add to your, your toolbox to create a slightly more aggressive blues rock kind of sound. Good luck, and I'll see you over in the next video.